Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for October 8th to October 14th, 2018 and while I'm doing the shuffling uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign and this is not your personal reading Therefore, I will explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, then that is a topic of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, <clears throat> The uh, October monthly videos are already out, so feel free to check them out uh, if you are interested in uh, at my YouTube channel. And uh, if you find them helpful and you want to know even more about your month, then uh, there is a extended monthly tower readings that you can purchase from the website for just dollar forty nine. And uh, there you will find two sprites being explained by me that regards specifically for career and for relationship life for the star sign for the duration of the month. So going to the tarot spread first for the week. Now the first card will be about the topic of your week. The second card that will refer to the core of the situation. The third card is going to be regarding the challenges that will cause predicaments that you, do, that you do have to overcome. And the last one that will be the guidance that Taro is offering to you Capricorns. So let's see what you have to face here. What will be the topic? Now the topic is going to be the two of wands. So by itself it does look like this week is going to be very dynamic especially mentally wise. So uh, the two of wands it's, it represents the search of expansion the search of where we can be more productive, the search of what we can do next so we can increase our benefits. Therefore, this week it is likely that many of you Capricorns, if not all of you, uh, will decide for themselves that uh, the certain standpoints are outdated, you know, or certain rewards for certain jobs are kind of like uh, very diminished or simply in a most literal sense some of you may decide that they are not valued properly and they are finding themselves underrated regarding you know the uh, effort that they are exerting either career wise or relationship wise and that the, the results of that could play out in a couple of ways um, you may become a lot more aggressive than usual demanding to be um, treated or to be paid accordingly or the other more passive approach is by you keeping it in a silent treatment and you know start searching for as i said a different field of expansion like new job new relationship you know etc etc but it is very important here with the two of wands you know to be also very strategic <clears throat> especially if you go for the aggressive approach because um, <clears throat> you may be left with nothing at the end through your demands. So you need to know when you have to place them. All right. So as I said, strategic about the timing, it will be very, very important. But in the grand scheme of things, this card here as a topic of the week, it says that this is a week of expansion and this expansion will take place depending on what you need in life, but also is going to put your capabilities, your um, your skills, knowledge, and generally your standpoints into not test, but let's say into their outer limits so you can even improve internally as well. The next card <clears throat> that will be the core of the situation here, and we do have the Six of Wands. And this card is a, um, a, a card of rewards, a card of appreciation a card of recognition and a card of a helping hand is coming along but also this card in a more profound level or as a explanation is about reaching a certain milestone and this fits very well with uh, the with the two of wands reaching a milestone and then and uh, 
and then you decide what to do next with the benefits of this milestone and how you can in generally expand you know either your career or either your relationship just to give you a couple of example that is reaching a milestone where you enthralled your person of interest and now this week is about the expansion this week is about start dating you know it's about establishing emotional connection it is about placing up certain rules and demands upon what has to happen if you are to be together etc etc or it could be uh, in career you know you reach the milestone uh, <clears throat> and you have the rewards from it but you know that you deserve a lot more so it's about to start either making a demands or use that milestone as a portfolio you know to kind of like apply for a different job so what we are having here throughout that week Capricorns is that you need to step on the current achievements you have already did which are not something small as a matter of fact and you can be quite proud about that all right and uh, you know start as uh, start searching or start asking for um, according benefits or for according payment for according um rewards of those uh, of those milestone and those achievements but again i want to stress that one out you should not be over aggressive and you need to know your place you need to time it right otherwise if you go by with the aggressive approach here which most of you will decide to you know because it is much more easier to push forward with what you already have rather than to start a, a brand new uh, brand new agenda and brand new undertaking and uh, again i'm saying that if you become overly aggressive then at the end you may be left with exactly nothing and then the next card that we do have that will be the four of swords so four of swords is a card of stillness passiveness and it's a card of uh, of uh, rest it's a card of generally a calm time coming into a negative position or a challenges this speaks for a couple of things first of all this week is going to be very um very calm and peaceful and that may create an illusion that I uh, issues disagreements or troubles in general you know predicaments which are not taking place throughout the week are somehow resolved themselves on their own accord and that is a, a wrong standpoint they will immerse further into the future and what you can do best throughout the week here Capricorns is take the time of stillness of those issues and those troubles you know so you can readapt your strategies as accordingly and next time when they re-immerse they don't cut you unprepared what we said here is that you may have to change a little bit your strategies and uh, this card as well is a little bit more dangerous when it comes to relationships and relationships i don't only mean you know uh intimate relationship uh, relationships that could be relationships in between you and your family members uh, that could be uh, friendship relationships co-worker relationships etc etc and this card as a challenging point stands that uh, stands for that you may be too much biased about your opinion for those you interact with so you are rock solid <clears throat> and entirely premeditated about their capabilities you know about their intentions even though they're trying to prove otherwise for example uh, if uh, you know you suspect that someone has a malicious intentions towards you even though they show the very best intentions uh, that they have and they prove it somehow you still will find it very hard to believe and even you are going to be unyielding to believe it that they do have those good intentions but rather you will still stand on the uh, on the position that they are uh, malicious towards you and that is very dangerous when we talk about intimate relationships because you simply could implant the thought that your partner doesn't love you enough while they do all right and that could especially with the two of ones having here been prone to seek expansion that may uh, kind of lean you toward having a fair or uh, break up your relationship for a favor of finding of a seemingly better one quote in quote just because you are uh, you will find yourself very attractive here we do have the six of ones so that is about the appreciation that will be the core of the situation you will not lack suitors throughout the week all right that is one of the sense of the card 
so you have to be uh, you have to be much more grounded when it comes to especially intimate relationship here and try to kind of separate you know what is uh, in reality from what you are imagining it to be all right and that could happen through just for example this is a very drastic measure but that could happen could happen through going into a couples therapy or a psychotherapist or just talking with someone you know someone that is unaffected but by, by that relationship but yet is a um, a witness of it like a common friend with your partner etc etc but it is important here to realize that this week it is uh, a time is given to you to deliberate and create new strategies how to resolve issues which are currently going forward and the last one this is going to be about the guidance which tarot has for you and this is the judgment card so the judgment card here asks you to obtain a a different thinking whatever that's supposed to mean this is just one of the things that this card goes by it is kind of like obtaining a, a different vision a different perspective upon the things which are going on so um <clears throat> Having it that, again, the, the biased standpoint should be something you don't uh, have a, as a quality throughout the week. For example, if your partner does something, you know, and you think uh, the very first thought that you have in your mind says that it is malicious, give yourself a time to think about it a little bit more thoroughly and probably you will see a, a very small reason behind it why, that, why your partner did it and that will kind of diminish severely the, um, the sense of malice in, uh, in their act. And probably you will find a strength within your heart to forgive them in a certain way. But the judgment card also speaks about the timings that the right time is going to come. It's going to be like a wake up call. You will know it when, um, when it appears, when it manifests itself. And this will be the time where you should act. This is a just confirmation what I said here at the start. That you need to be very accurate with the right moment of action to uh in to kind of capitalize on a way of expanding your areas in your life either career or relationship wise and that expansion does not necessarily again i'm repeating mean means a a new things it may mean that you will expand what you already have or you are going to uh, maximize it all right because maybe right now some of you are not kind of benefiting from the maximum out of their potential and of the potential of their situations. So that was the tarot reading for you Capricorns. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say. They are going to show up a event uh, that you should either look forward to or, um, or try to avoid. Now let's get them. Let's see now the first one that is the bear. The bear sits for authority, it sits for uh, motherhood, it sits for headstrong, it sits for power. Then the next one, this is going to be the tree. The tree sits for longevity, it, it sits for health, it sits for, you know, long lasting. And the last one that will be, <laughs> we do have uh, the, um, <laughs> the lilies. So we do have a serious potential here for affair, but that affair could uh, will come from you, not from your partner, should you want to have it, all right? This is entirely opportunity here to having a, a long-lasting affair with someone that will be very powerful drive, because the lily is about sex, it's about um, physical interaction, all right, and it is about prosperity, so it's kind of like this affair will prosper. <clears throat> so you need to be very careful. Uh, this is a, a very general uh, meaning of the Lenormand cards. I, I'm, I'm even stunned of how general they are, because usually they are specific. But what literally they said that this is going to be a powerful um, thing of longevity that you will like very much so if it is a affair especially if we go with the sex here with that card that could be here uh, throughout the week uh, Capricorns a, a random sex that you may have with someone you know just give yourself to the temptation which you are gonna like very much and that will be prolonged in the future you know and uh, also the six of wands sometimes 
in a very uh, superficial meaning it, it could mean sex as well so we have a, a double confirmation that you know that could it, it is very likely to happen and one more interpretation here is is that I don't like to speak about health but this card speaks for health this is a about abundance as I said power strong headed you know um, authority prosperity etc so it does look like that your health is going to improve in a certain way but of course you have to help it guys all right so just sitting down is that doesn't mean that it's going to improve by on its own accord but you do have the possibility to improve your health and to increase your longevity in a certain way like for example um a healthy diet or um, workouts you know contributing into sport activities etc etc so that being said capricorns this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for october 8 to october 14 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and um, again repeating this was a, a general reading for capricorn star sign this was not your personal reading guys therefore i have try to do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that is a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings rat signing out now see you next time bye